I'm waiting in my studio, really an office with a window facing Union Square. It's only a 13 by 13 foot room, but has a high ceiling, so it seems larger. I'm an artist. My main interest is using the human figure as a subject in my paintings to convey feelings. I'm waiting for a new model to pose for me. Her name's Jean. I'm all set. My drawing materials are laid out. Pencils, pen and ink, drawing paper. Everything I'll need to make quick sketches. I like the figure in action. My studio has a heavy door with a frosted glass window right next to the building elevator. I hear the loud gate of the elevator opening at my floor and then a knock. I'm nervous even though my friends have told me she's a fine model. I open the door and immediately see a petite young woman, blonde, in a light dress. She smiles at me and I ask her to come in. She seems surprised that my studio is only one room, no bathroom, only a folding screen, an easel, and drawing table. I'd like to do some quick sketches, ones, twos, threes, up to fives. Are you okay with that? I nervously ask. Yes, anything's fine with me. You can disrobe behind the screen. I thought this was a clothes job. That's what the agency said. I'm flustered and stumble speaking. Uh, I, I'd asked for a nude model. Nude costs more, she says very matter-of-factly. I don't have the money for that today. Well, okay, but we'll have to subtract 15 minutes posing time. I agree and I'm relieved. Instead of going behind the screen, she starts to disrobe slowly, one garment at a time. I see that she has begun posing. Quickly I get my pad and some charcoal and start drawing. After a minute I say, change please. She does. Please rotate your body from one position into the next without thinking about it. Her body turns gracefully. I quickly try to capture the general posture. Change, I say again. She does and rotates. I'm getting excited. She projects a certain energy. I find myself trying to capture that energy in my drawing. I stop thinking about what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm drawing so fast there's no time to think. Now, besides rotating with each change, I ask her to please start with standing, and then I say, as you rotate, bend, then kneel, and then recline, so that we'll get a lot of different positions each time you change the pose. Wow, this is a good workout for me, Jean says. Okay, I say, now go through the same cycle again, and keep doing it. I become aware that her body is very athletic looking. She's very attractive. I'm drawn to her. I try to keep focused on my drawing. I tell myself that I've drawn many nude models before, but I keep noticing the compactness of her arms, legs, and her breasts which are not large, but well formed. She seems to have a special energy about her. I want to capture it, to make it my own, to have it in my drawing so that when I look at the drawing, it will energize me. I want to capture the experience of her. Jean asks, Would you ever consider marrying an artist's model? I'm surprised by the question. Hesitate. I say I would in that it, posing nude was an issue. It means little to me and I remind her that many famous artists have married their models. Time to rest. Jean puts her robe on. She seems more relaxed, but really she has been more relaxed than me all along. The next hour and three quarters pass quickly. Change, please. Change, please. I ask for longer poses, and I feel that we are both loosening up. Her pose is more relaxed, 
my drawings Freya. I think I'll end up with some good ones, and I tell her that. She seems mildly pleased. I find I want to please her, for her to like me. I won't admit it to myself, but I'm being seduced, or hoping that might be the case. I don't know what it is about her that causes me to feel so energized, but it feels good. Is it her face? Expression? I can't pinpoint the reason. Her body? What is it? When I find myself starting to fantasize, I catch myself, but I tell myself I may never see her again. I'm glad for this experience, but I feel baffled by why genes seem so special. Why some things, people, flowers, artworks, shapes, colors, have this power to change our feelings.